Right guys, Gaft is back with the explanation to the Aces trick out of the book Carl Fool's self-working close-up card magic. I'll show you the page it's on. It is on page 29 and it's called the four aces. Stop at an ace. It's on page 29 out of this book. Right, you're going to want the four aces and then you're going to say to your spectator, I'm going to put these cards behind my back and I'm going to place these four aces somewhere in the pack. In fact, what you are doing is placing two of the aces face up on the top of the deck. You're then going to get two random cards off the bottom and you're going to place those face to face. So you've got the two aces face up, two indifferent cards face to face and the following two aces face down. So you'll do all this behind your back. Um, it's not that difficult to fiddle about. So you should be in a position where you've got two face down aces on the top, two indifferent cards face to face, and then the two other aces face up. That's your stack. You'll say to your spectator, I want you to reach in and cut a few cards, half the deck, it doesn't really matter. But they need to cut past this little stack. So just say, look, cut roughly half. They'll pick these up. We're going to turn them over and place them face down. Now you are going to be the one that spreads these cards because you've only got a couple of cards as cover. So you need to be careful when spreading. We'll say, look, we're going to go through and we're going to find the first two face down cards we come to. Now, had you have cut somewhere differently, you could have cut to these couple of cards. So you're going to go through making sure that when you get to this point, you've only got a few cards look of cover. So get to the first face down cards and push off the first two face down cards this packet goes underneath we'll do that same thing again cut about half the packet turn them over you're going to spread through till you see the first face down card be careful not to flash there's a tiny little flash whatever you can see it in the camera and once again place the first two face down cards you come to onto the table it would be advisable now to put this packet on the top because you've got a face-up card look. And now you can reveal that the spectator cut to the four aces. So it's a pretty simple trick. I'll show you again quickly. Get rid of that random face-up card. Now, <clears throat> if you knew what the cards were on the bottom, you could turn that into a trick afterwards, couldn't you? If you worked out what card would end up face-up. So once again, you're going to take this behind your back. You're going to take the first ace, put it face up. Put these behind your back. Take the next ace, face up. While you're there, you're going to put a card face up and a random card face down. Take the next ace behind your back, face down. And the next ace behind your back, face down. Right, I want you to cut a few cards, about half the deck. Turn them over. Be careful when you're going through. There's the first face down card, look. Put these on the bottom. We'll do that again, just cut about another half, turn them over, go through again, making sure not to flash. Put these on top, put your deck aside, and wouldn't you know it, you cut to the four aces. So that is the trick, guys, out of the Carl Falls self working close at card magic. Now I'll go through the book and see if I can find some other little gems. I'm sure these are all good tricks, but you know, some work better on fixed camera than others so uh, comment subscribe like guys and come back tomorrow for another card trick cheers